In this lesson, I'll show you how to determine the intersection and union of sets and intervals. Let's discuss a few definitions before we start. The union of two sets A and B is denoted like this. And this is when you join the elements found in A and B into one set. We denote the set of elements that are in common between A and B using this symbol. And this is known as the intersection of sets. When there are two sets with no elements in common, we denote it with this symbol. The question reads, let A, which contains these five elements, and B, containing four elements, C, containing three elements, find the union of A and B. For this, we have to list all the elements found in A and B, and we don't want to write any duplicates. So starting with the smallest value in both, it's negative six, I'll write down negative six, then comes negative five. Notice that negative five is common in both, so we only write it once. 0, a third, 4, 11, and 17 is common, so we write it once. That's the answer for A. For B, we have the intersection of A and B, which means we only write down things that are in common. So the intersection of A and B is, well, we have negative 5 and 17. So two elements found in this set. And for C, the intersection of B and the set C. Unfortunately, there isn't anything in common between these two. So this will be an empty set denoted with this symbol. And there you have it, a really quick introduction on how to determine the intersection and union of sets and intervals.